Hello guys, welcome back. In this class, we are going to talk about media files. Uh, in the previous class, we had a look how this jungle handles static files and we put it to work with the full static files and the static files per app. In this class, we are going to see how Django handles media files and how we can provide that to be uh, online during the development server, during the development pro uh, process. Okay, so uh, as we said in the previous classes, a media file will be something that the user uploads to your application, and you want to provide that to provide a way to access these files okay so the first thing that we want to do and we need to do is define two important configurations here in the settings files the first one is the media url as the same way uh, that we define it one url for st for static files static files we need to provide one URL for media files. You can put wherever you want here uh, since it is one valid um, URL, okay? So the second thing that we need to do is defining the media root configuration. The media root will be the folder where you want to, uh, to put your media files so what's the folder name that you want to use as as default uh, we are putting my before so let's keep it in this way but in your real project you can put the name that suits better to you so my uh, media files my media let's say okay so I'm gonna close that and I'm going to create this um, another folder call my media okay so we have the folder we have the settings already let's try to test it we can in this case we can use the jungle admin uh, let's have a look a quick look in our our model so in models we have photo so the user are able to upload one image for their the clients are a, uh, able to upload one photo for their uh, profile so uh, if we go here in admin and in fields we can add the field photo if you remember we are limiting the fields that will be shown on Django admin from the the client admin class admin class so if you will remove that every single field will be shown but in this case if we just add it here it will be fine as well and then we upload that now we have this um, button here where we can choose a file let's let me check if I have anything else right here okay I will upload my photo okay I'll click save automatically um, Django's Ryzen error so let's see what is that so expected is string bytes path like object not a list okay so let's go back to our settings it's complaining here because it not not expecting a list so we can put a string we can put a put a one put bytes or or the personal system path like but not a list Okay, so let's update that again and see how it go. Okay, it was saved successfully. If we if, if we see here, we have now the gp.gpg file, and if we go here in my media, we can see that the file is over here. That's very very nice thing. That's like a complex thing. It's a, usually a complex thing to do in so many different technologies or frameworks, but in Django, Django make it so easy for us. And we can do some improvements. For example, we can set here in photo, we can say that uh, every single file uh, will be uploaded upload to uh, one subfolder called clients. 
So here inside the media, Django will create one folder called, called clients and we will upload that. Let's say, let's uh, let's say for example, if you have multiple models, every model has one way to upload files. It will be a mess in a uh, few times uh, after the users start start uh, uploading files. So if you separate that for folders of or by domain or something you would decide how you want to separate that would be much much more organized so let's let me pick another file like this one for example and then save what saved successfully and here we can see that now Django just created one folder and put the measure inside the folder that's very very amazing you know um, but if we go here and we if we click on this file, we get one uh, one four four on page not found. Why? Because basically, the Django will not serve any any media files. Media files are not supposed to be served by Django or Django server. Okay, this guy that is running here, because Django will serve basically. Uh, the responses with HTML code basically or pre or a JSON you know but not a one media file Django is not supposed to be doing that if you want to put your server online if you want to serve media files you should set up one specific server for serving your media file we're going to see how to do that that in the future but for now, there is a workaround, there is a way for us to, during the development time, uh, make Django serve this file for you, so you, you will be able to full test your application. If we go here in the Django documentations, we can see that Django provides one way to serve uploaded, serving files uploaded by the user during, during the development. So, it will be available just from uh, just during the development process okay so the first thing that we need to do we need to import settings and the static the static is one function that Django provides for you out of the box so we go here in URLs in your main URLs not from the app URLs so you go here and then you import that two guys okay it will import the settings okay this guy here we import it inside the URLs and as well we will import this function okay and then you we can concatenate in the end of our, our URL patterns we can concatenate this configuration basically we are calling the static files the static function sorry this static function will get from the settings media URL that we just defined it and we'll do a document root for media root media root is the folder that we are saying that Django can look for static files so now Django knows know where to look for media files and as well in uh, with which um, media URL it should be serving okay so if we go back here now and if we update uh, refresh the page boom here we go he now we can see the Django the the file the you know the 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 image file that we just uploaded okay it is just for development purpose to make you able to to full, fully test your application but in the future when we are going to put our application online I'm gonna show you how to set up a media server okay don't don't worry about that for now for now this way is more than enough okay guys so in this class we learned how to set up media files how does Django uh, handle those media files and what we can do to make Django able to serve media file during the development process. As well, we saw how to improve our uh, models to separate the files uploaded by category or by domain or by whatever you want to separate, okay? And then I um, and then we could see the files uh, online in the browser, okay guys? So I hope that you have implemented this 
uh, this example completely in your machine I hope it, it is working fine but if not as you know put it down uh, below in the comments that for sure I'm gonna help you okay I hope you enjoy this class and I'll see you next time guys bye bye